Welcome, welcome, welcome to Late Night Comfort. The one, the only late night talk show here on Twitch.tv where there are <laughs> uh, uh, two people talking and one of them's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. That one so happens to be me. Um, my name is uh, Wes Franks, as you can tell from the things above my head. Uh, I am your host. I am taller than your dad, and uh, I am fully vaccinated, ladies. Um, yes, and I have with me, I have with me right now uh, the incomparable, the inevitable, um, Natalia Hawthorne of Cult Comedy Cinema. Hello, hello. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Give it up. Give it up for our guests. Give it up for our guests. Um, yes. Okay. So, Natalia, uh, who are you? How did you get here? I don't know. You just called me on my computer and I hit accept and here I am. Perfect. Maybe Perfect. move my camera set up. Mm, Ugh, mm -hmm. We're here. We're doing it. I do that. I do that. That's why I, I have so many exes because I tell them to move their cameras. Um, so, so, so let's start off with this uh, before we get into everything talking about cult comedy cinema. Do you like my shirt? I do like your shirt. Okay. What do you like about my it shirt? Reminds me of SpongeBob. Perfect. Wear it more. Perfect. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Uh, so, so tell us about cult comedy cinema. What is cult comedy cinema? Um. Do you want the long version or the short version? What are we doing? Take as much time as you need. I've got more questions about whatever you're doing here on the internet, uh, but you can take oh, okay. as much time as you need to ask. <laughs> um, so cult comedy cinema is essentially a cross between Joe Bob Briggs's show, Elvira's mm -hmm. movie show that she used to do, and then SNL. And the SNL part is I just bring on unknowing local comics i'm like hey come watch a movie with me and shit on it on a live stream for them yeah. it is stand-up comics it's not you know what they normally do so it's a fun time but yeah 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 no I'm no fucking scrubs everything. you're exploring yeah. everything no scrubs we don't we don't have any um uh, lex luther like company owners coming on and dressing like wario or um you don't have uh, uh tattooed dudes that skateboard on and then do this and then say, uh, hey, how's it going? My name's Pete. Uh, and for three <laughs> hours. Um, no, no, no. Great, great, great. No, it sounds great. I've watched the show. Uh, I've been on the show multiple times. Uh, I, I love it. I love it. So, uh, so, so talking more about that, where are you from? I am from Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama. All right. Well, well, that's right here in our studio. You can see right behind it. There's the there's the regions the, the regions Har Harbor Plaza, and then over here you've got you've got the Wells Fargo building, and then right there, if you look right down here, uh, that's uh, where uh, I had my heart broken by a uh, 27 year old uh, man who uh, said that he doesn't uh, date m uh, men like me. Uh, perfect. Uh, okay, so uh, what's your favorite thing about Birmingham? Oh, man. Uh, the people. Gotta love the people. Gotta love the people? What and, do you love about the people? Yeah. Uh, you know, they're just, they're good people. They're good people, but they're also shitty people. But they're good shitty people, and those are hard to find. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so if you could tell anybody that's visiting Birmingham the first thing they should do, what, what would that be? What time of day are they getting in? Uh, they're driving in, they're flying in. So they're coming in on a Greyhound bus. Uh, they uh, are a bunch of wooks. Uh, they're in for to see a String Cheese Incident concert that's happening at Avondale uh, Brewing Company later that night. But they've got time to kill because since they took a Greyhound, they're coming in at 4 a.m. Okay. Um, do Are they planning on like tripping all day or are they tripping just during the concert? They're microdosing and then they're going to take one big fat fucking rip during the concert. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. First thing they need to do, stop by Heroes Donuts, get a nice little brekkie brek. Mm-hmm. Heroes Donuts. Make an egg and cheese sandwich. Okay. Then head to the art museum, walk around stoned out of your mind all day. Yeah. Good time. And then mosey on down to the Avondale area, hang out at mom's basement, maybe check out... What other bars are open down there right now? Check out another bar, and then go to the concert. Have a good fucking time. Yeah, there's Mom's Basement. There's 41st Street Pub. Yeah. Uh, Saturn's going to be starting off. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, what's your go-to donut? That's a great That's a great question. Oh, my donut. God. Yeah. All right. Um, go-to donut at Heroes Donuts. They only have it during May, but it's like a strawberry and cream 
donut. So it's like a regular donut cut in half with like cream and strawberries in it. And it's a little sandwich. That, that sounds like a lot. That sounds like it quite a, a bit. Lot. That sounds like something my mom used to make me. Um, all right, perfect. Okay, uh, so uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about cult comedy cinema here. Um, so t tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, where did you get the idea? How did it start? What was the process? Okay, um, so you were actually part of the process, Wes. Um, I was. But it started. You were. You were part. You were part of it. Um, it started with you know, COVID happened. We're all we're just eating hot sauce. What are you doing? Don't, don't focus on me. Answer the question. Okay. All right. So it started um, out with COVID hit and I was home alone. I was like, I want, none of my friends are coming over. We're all quarantining because we're responsible people. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, I want to be able to like watch movies with my friends. Um, mm. So as things started slowly opening back up, I gave you a random call one morning and I was like, Hey, hear me out um i want to do a live show <laughs> at mom's basement in the backyard where we're going to show a shitty movie and so we went to mom's they said yes and we showed tammy and the t-rex live to a crowd of what like 40 50 people yeah um, it was yeah it went great it was very spaced out outside it was a nice night uh it didn't rain too much it was very romantic um while we're watching Tammy the T-Rex, I'm pretty sure I saw some people feeling each other up, which was just, just peak, just peak oh, yeah. uh, entertainment. We did um, that. Trying to concentrate on telling jokes and everything and talking about Tammy and the T-Rex while people are, um, while people are uh, tammy up their own T-Rex. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Perfect. All right. So, so horror movies. It's a focus on cult classic horror movies specifically, right? Okay. Well, I have different nights. So Fridays are cult comedy movies. So mm, I use cult mm -hmm. stuff on Fridays. Thursdays, I go more for like 80s slashers. Okay. There's just so, so many, and they're so good. And then Monday nights, I do vintage horror and sci fi. So normally like black and white stuff, but those also are dubbed Vinnie P nights because I bring in Vincent Price on those nights. Oh my goodness. Vincent Price. So where did your love of Vincent Price come from? He um, actually plays a character in Scooby-Doo, or the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. So I was introduced to him as a kid. I was like, I don't know who this person is, but I love this character. And then when I realized he was a real person, completely lost my shit. And like, kind of was like, this person's great. I want to, you know, watch all his movies. And then I learned a lot about his history and his background. And he's just a very interesting person. He came from a very interesting time. And how he got into acting was just... Mm -hmm. It's great. You know? Can you tell us more about that? So he was a he was not a theater major. He was in school. Um, mm -hmm. One of his buddies was like, "You should go try out for theater." So he went. Was on the, the in the theater department in college. Ended up winning some awards as like an up upcoming actor. Moved to Broadway. Was a Broadway star for a bit, and then slowly eased into acting. Um, during the sixties, huh? I said amazing. I know, it's amazing. And then, let's see, in the um, 60s, he was actually put on a gray list in Hollywood, um, which there was blacklisted actors, which could not work again. There were gray listed mm -hmm. actors, and it was actors and actresses that were anti-Hitler, pre-World War II, um, were blacklisted because obviously if they were against Hitler, they were communists, mm -hmm. which, mm -hmm. so backwards, but um, Vinnie P came out of that instance. He was, you know, gray listed, he ended up being able to start acting again after he had watched all of his, a lot of his friends, um, actors and actresses lose their livelihoods, you know, get deported. A lot of them took their lives and he kind of took that, came back and continued on with his legacy, which is pretty amazing. Just like Dalton Trumbo, Dalton Trumbo, screenwriter. Um, that was uh, in 1947. He was blacklisted for being a communist. Nobody knows if he really was or not. Uh, very interesting. Okay, so would you consider Vincent Price a sex symbol? Oh, 110%. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I think so, too. Look at that mustache. That droopy like, the oh, dog face. That, that receding hairline. I love it. <laughs> no, there's everything I love about it. Uh, what about John Waters? Is John Waters a, a sex symbol? Not for me. Not for not me. for you. Probably, probably for me, a pansexual man. There, there you go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. No, I love it. 
Now, I, don't, I, want to remember, I want to remind everyone watching that if you have some questions for Natalia, all you have to do is spend some channel points there to highlight your message so I can see them, or you can just ask them, and I might see them. But if you highlight your message there, then I'm going to be able to see it uh, because there's a lot of things happening right now. The studio is a buzz right now because we have Natalia here. Natalia, uh, yeah. if, I, if I could be any animal right now, which would you be comfortable with me being in this uh, interview? A hedgehog. A hedgehog. So I want you to imagine me as a hedgehog for the rest of this. Okay. Uh, a spindly hedgehog wearing a Hawaiian shirt and a blazer. Um, perfect. Right. Perfect. All right. Excellent answer. That's a great, great answer. Great question. All right. So horror movies, Vincent Price, everything. What would you say is your favorite horror movie? Now, I know people ask this question all the time. They ask me all the question. What's your favorite horror movie? And I tell them, oh, my God, there's just so many because I'm racking my brain trying to analyze the conversation to figure out yeah. which horror movie I could say to where I would get their approval. But what about you? I think all time. Are we talking like what what subgenre are we in right now? Oh, uh, we, we're fucking we're we're in in the deep deep in baby we, we got no floaties on you're at a bar and you're talking to some dude who hasn't given you any red flags yet he hasn't said that he's into mma or anything like that um so what is your yeah what what like he comes up to you and he goes hey what's your favorite horror movie okay um let's see mm. i'm gonna have to go with the House on Haunted Hill. The House on Haunted Hill, a Vincent Price classic. The House on Haunted Hill. Okay, The House on Haunted Hill. Uh, uh, Franco, can you go ahead and bring that up for me right here? And it's, we're not talking about the 1999 like remake here. We're talking about the oh, 1959 God. classic starring Vincent Price as Frederick Lauren, and then you've also got Richard Long and Leona Anderson, Carolyn Craig. A wonderful movie, wonderful movie. Go okay. check it out. Go check it out. All right, amazing, amazing. You're doing so great at this. Uh, you were, you were, you were stressed at this whole time. When I tell you, uh, she was, uh, she was stressed. I mean, she was stressed with a capital T. Um, all right. So, what is your least favorite part of preparing streams for the week? Because you do a lot. Like you put out a lot of content. Yeah. Um. Honestly, the worst part is about the 30 minutes pre-show when I'm sitting here waiting on my comic to show up mm -hmm. that was supposed to be here 45 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And it's just the panic attack that ensues and I'm just like, they're not going to show up. They're not answering their phone. Where are they? And then they like walk in. They're like, sorry, I got a cheeseburger on my way here. And I was like, I cooked you dinner. Yeah. Right? I've been here cooking all day. I've been there before. I've been in that situation. I've been in that hot seat where I was on time. I think I beat you to your house. I'm going to put you, you on did. blast here. I beat you to your house for a show. Uh, and when you showed up, you're like, I'm so sorry. I was on a date. <laughs> and I was like, what? Okay, yeah, great. Get get your tip wet. But you, we've got a fucking scheduled stream to do here, Chica. Shit to do. But you made me fucking, like, you made me, uh, it's a Polish dish. You made me some beet salad, uh, and then yep. you made me some um, fucking pierogies, uh, and and always for always forgiven, always forgiven. It was great. You've made me pasta before. Um, so so if there's one thing you could say to those comics right now, if there's one thing that you could say to them, and you you've got them right there dead to rights, and you can say one thing to those comics that are that are late to your stream, and you've made them food. <laughs> what would that be? <laughs> Just text me. Tell me that you're on the way. Mm -hmm. Just fucking text me, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Just do it. Respond, mm -hmm. and I won't be mad. It's 2021, people. You're fully vaxxed. You've got 5G in your arm. You should never have no service, okay? Text a motherfucker. Communication, it's important. Amazing. Okay, amazing. No, you're doing great. Okay, so what is your favorite part about streaming these watch parties for everybody? Honestly, it's been meeting so many awesome people through streaming. Mm -hmm. Because, like, most of the time, like, I had a lot of friends that would tune in at first, and now those friends are like, we have other things to do, we love you, but we're gonna go. And it's, I have, like, a group of people that tune in that I've never met in person, but I get to see them, like, or talk to them three times a week, and hang out and watch movies. It's the shit. Amazing. I love them. No, 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 I love it. And uh, in, in seeing the dedicated following you're getting and everything like that. Double D Rock says not Dead Heat? How could not Dead Heat, how could Dead Heat not be your I'm favorite sorry, movie? Oh my god. I did oh uh, Dead Heat on Double D's Rock 
podcast this week. That was the movie that I gave. Jesus. I'm so sorry, dude. No, you're you're doing great. You don't have to apologize to Double D. It's perfectly fine. Uh, okay, so assuming that you might believe in supernatural phenomena, such as ghosts, do you think ghosts are actually spirits, or do you think they're temporal anomalies that are bleeding in from higher dimensions? Um, I think ghosts are spirits, 110%. That's a great answer. That's a fantastic answer. All right, so moving on. Uh, it has been known frequently on your streams that you wear socks. Yeah. So where did the sock thing come from? Um, when I first started streaming, I had a friend who watches like a lot of streams and he was like, hey, you need to know you can't show your feet on stream or they'll shut you down. And I was like, that's not a thing. And then I was reading through the, like, the, the TNS and I was like, oh, that is a thing. Okay. Well, I'm sitting on my couch and normally I sit like crisscross applesauce, you know, feet up. And I was like, I got to do something. So I was like, I'll just wear crazy socks every stream. And so I do. Amazing. That's no, that's, that's, that's a great way around it. It's a great way around it. And, and, when, and when she says TOS, uh, she's not talking about, uh, about tits or saliva. She's talking about terms of service here on twitch.tv where you can't show nipple and you can't show feet. Because if you get paid money and you're showing either one of those things, it's considered sexual in nature. So, so you wear socks. Uh, do you have a favorite pair of socks, like wacky socks? Oh, I've got like a series of socks that I really like. I have okay. a bunch of Scooby Doo socks. And. Mm. <laughs> four pairs in there that I love. <laughs> Amazing. No, fantastic. Uh, uh, can we get a sock preview for tonight? Because I know oh, you're geez. streaming right after this. Sock yeah, preview? I'll go ahead. I'll make. I'll make you feel better. I'll bring my own up and I'll show you the socks that I'm wearing. Yeah. Can I show this go. this way? Okay. I got my yeah. my uh, boy sauce socks on tonight. Oh, Kikoman! Hey. Ah, <laughs> shout out Kikoman. Let's get a sponsor. Let's get let's get let's get applause for Kikoman right now. Uh, yeah. bringing soy sauce to the masses. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Mm. Right. So, okay. So, this is a very important part of the show. I need you rock, paper, scissors on shoot, all right? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, I got you! Oh ah! That's two for two, people. I beat Nick, Naughty Nick Francia in a staring contest last week, and I just got fucking... Get this thing off me! Ah! Amazing. Amazing. Uh, there's a question from the audience. Are they low-sodium oh. soy sauce socks? They are not. They are full sodium, because daddy didn't raise no bitch, okay? Oh, wow. Strong words coming from the, yeah. the, the Polish the Polish English lady. Um, so, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the wall art that you have behind you? Um, the, the, oh. some, some people, we can see some stuff around here. Uh, we can see about as far as the Tim Burton one to your left, and then we can see uh, Vinny, I can also, I can drag around. I can drag around. It's my show. I do whatever the fuck I want. So, yeah. <laughs> No, it's great. So, no, it's fantastic. Um, let's see. What are you looking at right now? Okay, so this is a Tyler Thrasher piece. He okay. is my favorite med scientist, and he um, grows crystals on skulls, shells, bugs, you name it, he does it. But I've got three of his pieces on the wall. Oh, shit. This is from a Nashville artist. I don't know her name, but I traded her a moss terrarium for this picture. Amazing. Um, I've got a Reefer Madness movie poster up there. Okay. I have the Bride of Frankenstein here. Okay. We can't see that, but I'm believing yeah, okay. you right now. Yeah. I have the Creature from the Black Lagoon above me. Fantastic. That's my, um, some memories there. Yeah. Um, this is Wicked wait, Abby. Wait, 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 wait. We'll talk about Abby. Uh, you, Creatures of the Black Lagoon. You say there's memories there. Go ahead. Yeah, so my mom's fam, my mom's parents are from, um, England mm -hmm. and growing up I didn't really have much of a relationship with them so much because they were overseas we were here mm -hmm. and my one memory with my Jadik who was a very very quiet man uh, yeah. was very stoic Polish when he would speak to me he would speak in Polish like trying to get me to learn the language yeah 
the one memory that I have from my childhood of the two of us is me sitting on the couch with him. It was very awkward, and we were watching Creature from the Black Lagoon. Mm-hmm. Only time I've seen him like laugh at anything. Okay. Um, and we were watching Creature from the Black Lagoon. He looks at me and goes, I look stupid. S- just died laughing. And it's been like one of, you know, one of the go-tos ever since. You know, it's a nice little time. Gram- Grandpa, Gramps. Gramps ain't got you no know. style. Gramps ain't got no style. Um, if you could have uh, so, so so before we get into more of your wall okay. art, if you could pick any of your favorite other than that one, uh, uh, okay. So I got 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 shut up, Franco. I've got it. I've got it. So, Bela Lugosi, Dracula, Boris Karloff, Frankenstein, Lon Chaney, Wolfman, and whatever poor fucker was in that latex suit of the Gill Man. <laughs> are all in a cage. They're in a cage, okay? They're in a cage. It's an underground fight club, all right? Okay. Who's fighting, who's freaking, and who's uh, fleeing? Okay. Boris is going to dip out. Okay. Just because he's a bougie-ass motherfucker, he doesn't have to be there. Got it. He's gone. Yeah. The Dracula's out for the count. Um, Yeah. Creatures fighting, Wolfman's fighting. Okay, they're they're fighting in the corner. Yeah, they're fighting in the corner, and Frankenstein's like in the corner because he doesn't know how to use the door to get out. God, there's no freaking happening. There's just fighting and fleeing. God, that yeah. sounds like a night at the quest. Are you talking? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Jesus. All right, continue on with your wall art, Natalia. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, this is Whippy Abbey, which is uh, my favorite spot in England. Every time I go over, I take a little day trip, but it's where Bram Stoker. Based Dracula off of. Oh. And there's 199 steps up to that abbey. And I make that pilgrimage every time I go. Shit, that's fucking um, impressive. Yes. This is a Brian Burks piece, which if you are in Birmingham, you know who Brian is. Mm-hmm. He does mm-hmm. fucking murals all over the goddamn place, and he's just a fantastic person. Brian, I love you. For my birthday. Oh, uh, Vampirella. Yeah. What is that? I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to zoom in here. It's Vampirella. I'm, I'm zooming in. I'm cutting you out. I'm zooming in. And it says, uh, we can't stop here. This is back country. <laughs> yes. That's, a, that's like a triple entendre right there because you got Vampirella and then you've got Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and then you've got uh, Avenged Sevenfold if your dad hit you. All in one. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. All what right. you got next? <laughs> um, we've got a, a Vinnie P piece here. Vinny P. Um, which is by Vinny P. I know. I it's my only Vincent Price art piece that I have. But um, an artist who now lives in Mobile, Alabama, she made it for me, and I love it. He's cute. He's adorable. Is that blood on it? Yeah, it's a blood splatter behind him. Blood splatter. Where? Wh- who is that from? Where is that from? I don't know. Somebody he killed. What? He's what? There. He's just doing it. Okay, I was about to say, what body part is that? Is that from like the duodenum? Is that? Is that like ephemeral artery? Is that? Yeah, that's, that's like a jugular slash. It's coming out the back. It's fine. He's surviving. He's thriving. Interesting. Yeah. Everybody, you're telling you, uh, you. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Oh, keep going. Um, yeah. I've got a uh, a poster from the Goonies screening at Alabama Theater. Oh, up nice. Top. You can't see it. Yeah. Two more of the Tyler Thrasher pieces, and then I have a signed copy of. The Outsider screenplay. Shit, yeah, I've seen that. That, that I'm kind of jealous yeah. about that. It's signed by everybody. Yeah. Signed by like. Signed by everybody. It's Matt just, Dillon. It's a, it's, a, it's like a print of it, but it's like I've taken it out and it's the actual like script. Screen, screenplay. My boss gave it to me for Christmas, and I cried because I was like, I've dated lots of people, and no one's ever gotten me a gift this good. So. Wow. It's a good time. It's a wow. Good time. Look, I would say if anybody's watching this in the future, you should probably try to slide into Natalia's DMs. Um, but uh, don't do that unless you kind of like start a rapport with her and understand her and you're like in the area. So I'm going to get a little bit heavy here. I'm going to get a little bit heavy here. But before we get heavy, I got another question for you. If you were surrounded by a thousand children who seemed to look alike and they were heading towards you in an ominous way and you're real close to a really amazing maze garden, I'm talking luscious. There's like azalea bushes. There's some roses in the corner, all that stuff like that. It smells like goddamn honeysuckle. Uh, What would you do? Do I have Zyrtec? I would assume you have Zyrtec because you're beside a maze garden if you're allergic to shit. Um, 
Do these children have weapons of any kind? No, they're just walking towards you. They all seem alike. They're all blonde-haired, little tiny children that are just walking towards you. There's about a thousand of them in an ominous way. What are you doing? I am running into that fucking maze. You're running into the fucking maze, and you're getting through it. How are you going to get through the maze? I will climb on top of one of the bush walls and figure out a way. Are you prepared to murder those children? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. I just want to check. It's me or them, all right? It's me or them. Yeah, Knife Champ 1, uh, you heard something about weapons. Yes, no, Natalia was just telling us there was a thousand children walking toward her, and they all looked ar- alike and walking towards her, and there was a there was a very luscious-looking uh, uh, maze next to her. Uh, she would be prepared to murder them, probably with a knife. You would probably find garden shears in there. Oh, it's, yeah. it, snip them. And, and snip them, but then you could also take the garden shears apart, and then you have two knives. That is true, but I don't want to stab. That's too much work. Just snip, snip, snip. You know, hopefully, like, some of them will leave, but I'm hey. going to stay. I'm hey. going to win because I'm bigger. It's, it's Hey, it's your nightmare, all right? We're just watching it, okay? Fantastic. So, Natalia. Yes. Let me get a little bit serious here, Natalia. <laughs> uh, it is not lost on us, especially not myself and not on the people watching here, that women on Twitch do have a harder time. Uh, there are there are leagues of gentlemen uh, that live in their basement, and they would fucking just like breathe a lot, and they would yell that you do not have a harder time than a lot of us uh, more masculine presenting people do. Um, is there like is were you prepared when you started taking your show online? Because it started as like an outdoor kind of event thing, but yeah. with COVID and winter happening all at the same time, you kind of had to like find other means to do it. How, like with, with I'm imagining you do get a, a, an amount of DMs slid into of people or like people har- harassing you on the internet. Uh-huh. Does that um, happen often? Let's see. We, I mean, you, let's see. I've had a few that have been pretty graphic Mm -hmm. um i've had a few that are just kind of like you know just get offline take your shirt off and do whatever and i'm like bro like i'm just here to hang out with my friends and watch movies yeah um but for the most part i just whenever i get them you know it's a little block delete i don't bother responding perfect perfect i mean i you know could be in a hot tub the thought has crossed my mind but also Mad respect to anyone who's out there hustling like that. Look, you, look. It's just too much work. If I had a hot tub, I would be doing this show in a hot tub right now. Do you think it's fucking... Exactly. It's summer in Birmingham. Do you think I want to be in a fucking blazer in a studio with Franco yelling at me the entire time? No, I'd be in a hot tub. I'd be fucking... Uh, fucking I'd be wearing Chilling. a one-piece bathing suit because I don't want my nips to be shown because I don't want this show to get canceled. Please don't cancel me, Jeff Bezos. God damn, somebody should cancel Jeff Bezos, Lex Luthor-looking motherfucker. Um, but yeah, no... Well, that's I, I'm glad I'm glad that you have an, uh, a head on you. Like, I'm glad you have a head. First of all, I just want to say I'm glad yeah, you have a head. Too. I'm glad you have a head. But second of all, I'm glad that you're keeping yourself like focused, well, with a willingness to understand that like shit gets tough. It comes with the territory. There's times where I've got people sliding into my DMs too. I know. I understand. I look like I'm the frontman of a ska band, but apparently that works for certain people. Um, but they slide in all the time and they're, and they're trying to, they, they, they're like show feet or, you know, like, um, when are you going to start an OnlyFans or how are like, you know, <laughs> these things. And I'm like, where, I don't, where, where's the attraction come from? Where's the attraction come from? I sound like I'm Ben Shapiro, but you stretched him out to where he's my height and I look like a scoff front person, but you know, whatever. I digress. So. You have a hula shirt, though. You have a Hawaiian shirt, like. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a hula shirt. I got a just you're a little. Making, you're making it little, work. Yeah, just I gotta make it work <laughs> with my fucking my Frankenstein arms and everything. <laughs> um, no, fantastic. So you've done a lot of different uh, movie streams. Um, you've showed showcased a lot of movies. Uh, I watched Maximum Overdrive with you at one point. Uh, Maximum yes, Overdrive. Watch that. Uh, you've done Chopping Mall. Dead Heat, other yes. things like that. Uh, what has been your favorite so far that you've done? Oh. Hmm. 
I think my favorite so far was actually the one that we did this past week, which was Stay Tuned. Ooh! Which is the 90s movie. Stay Tuned. I've never seen it. Yeah. And it was absolutely like a 90s gem mm-hmm. that didn't get the credit it deserved. Yeah, stay tuned. It was great. If you didn't watch it, uh, what the fuck are you doing if you're not watching this woman's show, by the way? Um, go ahead and support uh, independent content that is um, way more refreshing than just watching some smelly dude play League of Legends. Um, but, yeah, stay tuned. 1992, American fantasy comedy. It stars John Ritter, the late John Ritter. Um, but uh, that, that, that's, that's a pretty fucking great one. Um, so you have guests on yeah. on these shows that watch these movies with you. Mm-hmm. Um, these guests, uh, they've been few and f- they've been f- f- frequent. Um, so yes. out of all these guests, which one has been your favorite? And I, yes, I'm going to make you answer this because, uh, I know people are like, oh, I couldn't say a favorite. They're all my favorites. Like, get that fucking, get that wany baby, baby, please p- oh, d- d- b- b- shit out of here. I need to know favorites. Oh, it's God. honestly, it's a toss up between Margan White and Caleb Garrett. Mm. Gail and I gotta annoying. mix Lori Moore in there too. Those are my top three. Lori Moore, Lori Moore, I, I, Lori Moore could co-host anything. Um, Lori Moore She's is hilarious. Fantastic. She's fantastic. If you ever come to Birmingham and live comedy is still happening and it's not dead and it hasn't been killed uh, by um, uh, bald men that own bars around here, uh, then you should definitely go check out if Lori Moore is hosting something around here. Fantastic. Yeah. She will be. She's. If she's on a lineup, go see it just for her. Okay. So, so you have all of your guests, including myself. All of your guests yeah. are in a Roman Colosseum. All right? I want you to imagine this. They're in a Roman Colosseum. The chains right. are dragging. We're all, we're all in a spot, and, and we're fighting, uh, getting ready to fight. We each have weapons. I have a trident. Imagine me. It's me, but I'm a little bit more muscular. I'm wearing a leather thong. Uh, I have a trident and okay. a net in my hand, and I'm having a mask, but it's a face. It, it is it is it is John Mulaney's face, but it's a it's a metal mask. Um, so I, that's me, and then everybody else has their other shit. But I'm in my fantasy. This is what I'm making. Yeah. Okay. Um, Got it. We're all in a coliseum, and we all have to fight to the death. Who's walking out? Oh man, let's see. Out of all of my guests. Mm-hmm. Paige McBride's walking out, dude. Paige McBride, there with the just the chops. There, I imagine Paige McBride is wearing like a Xena Warrior Princess kind of fucking deal. She's got fucking knives, but she's also got the fucking boomerang disc like metal yep. thing. She's coming around. She's fucking stabbing me right for the d- the dick immediately. She knows exactly. She's like that yep. leather thong is not protection at all, and just fucking stabbing me. I'm out for the rest of the the, the, the games. She's fighting everybody else, but at the end, she doesn't realize. That I have, I have, I have willed myself back up. I'm the final boss. I go to trap her in the oh, neck. Okay. She cuts herself out. I go to stab her with a trident, and she cuts my intestines out. They fall on the floor. I'm holding in my hands. I'm on the <laughs> ground. She looks at you. You hold up your thumb. You hold up your thumb like this, because you have to decide at this moment: Do I live or do I die? I'm probably gonna die. I'm going into septic shock <laughs> at this point. My intestines are on the outside. Well, how does your thumb go? How does your thumb go? What is it for you or for Paige? Well, fucking Paige is standing over me with a knife to my throat, ready to just fucking end it for me. But like, but like, I like you know, like, does does she get the? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna let you live because you're just gonna die in your. You're own. gonna let me live. I'm going to die on a yeah. plank of wood. Somebody's <laughs> going to give me a shit ton of herbs. And they're going to stuff my intestines inside. They're going to sew me back up. I'm going to be in pain. They're going to put me in fucking wine shock. I'm going to be drunk off my ass, but I'm going to die. That's even you're more cruel than... You're happy. You're just, that's you're even more cruel than everything. <laughs> I, I respect that from you. Okay. All right. All right. What things do you want to come from cult comedy cinema? In the future, what what would you like 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 you've got within the next year? I know you have a lot of projects coming up, and you have a lot of high hopes. What are you looking for? Well, you know this. It's not mm-hmm. too too public of knowledge yet, but I'm moving. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, to a city with a much larger comedian base, which I'm excited about. Not um, this one, but a different one. A different one. A yeah. different one with lots of comics. Mm-hmm. Um, I How have dare a you? Bigger... I know. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, I want bigger comics on. Okay. Um, I do feel like, especially within the comedy community, if you know one comic, you are, you know, at least one, 
one person away from mm -hmm. you know the people you, people you're seeing on tv so i have several like side projects i'm going to be doing to bring on and showcase more up and coming comedians mm -hmm. um and then Man, like, I don't know. Some, get some sponsors. That'd be pretty cool. Start making some money doing this. That'd get be, some that'd be sponsors. That's the fucking tough thing. I've been doing this for over a year and ain't nobody sponsoring me. Isn't that right, me undies? Or, or fucking <laughs> uh, Die Hard Dice or anything like that. You fucking Shudder? Hey, Shudder, you want to throw out some of your fucking sponsorships to my, to my girl Natalia here? Fucking come on now. God damn it. Don't get stingy with the money. You've been making projects. You've been fucking getting kashish. Kashish out the ass this entire quarantine. Get the hello fresh money. Get that audible money. Oh, oh that, get that audible money. I'll take that audible money. Get that Casper mattress money. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. need a new mattress when I move. Let's go. Get that G Fuel money. I want. Where are my Raycons at? I want Ray J to roll up on a moped and hand me a free pair of Raycons and be like, "Here, talk about this, homeboy." And I'll be like, "Yeah, dope. I recommended Never. your shit to a friend of mine." No, 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 no. I, I'm right there with you. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Great. Great. Fantastic. All right. Now, the most important question that I have for you before we go into our rapid fire round. Okay. Natalia. Mm hmm What are your thoughts and feelings on the Halloween 2019 remake, or 2018 remake? Do you think that it was a, a mindless cash grab, or do you think that it really enhances the, um, the uh, franchise after a slew of sequels had turned Michael Myers into a bit of a joke? I'm talking about after Halloween 3 and on, like Halloween 4, 5, H20, all of those. Uh, because as you know, Halloween, Hall Halloween is a continuation. It mm -hmm. says yeah. all the sequels are done away with. What do you think? Well, as um, as someone who's very open and honest on my channel, mm -hmm. I have not seen many horror movies. And I have not seen that one, so I cannot comment. <laughs> you haven't seen the the latest Halloween that was that I was haven't. directed by David Gordon Green, I written not. by Danny McBride. I have not. Okay, we're gonna have to change that. Yeah, I know. Well, it's, here's the thing. I'm watching. I'm trying to watch all these iconic movies on stream. Mm -hmm. I watched Aliens yeah. for the first time on stream the other day because I hadn't seen any of the Alien movies. And it was me and Caleb Garrett. He hadn't seen them either. And we immediately mm -hmm. scraped our um, double feature list for the night. And that's what we watched. Uh, it was great. It was fantastic. I loved it. So, so what's better, Alien or Aliens? Uh, well, Alien wasn't on Prime, so we just watched Aliens. Oh uh, my god! We... <laughs> I know. Jeff Bezos, uh, why are you going to have aliens on there, but not the first one? Have you seen the first one, Natalia? I've seen parts of the first one, like when I was like way too little to be watching it. And it gave me like nightmares. So I never went back and watched it. Um, but aliens was, I enjoyed it. I, uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. little kid was my favorite. She was the. Newt. OG in that movie. Yes. Newt, 10 out of 10. If I was in a fight, Newt's by my side. I fuck everyone else in that movie. Great day to wake up in the core. Any morning's a blessing when you wake up in the core. Am I right? Hoo ah, Marines. Hoo ah. Yeah, game over, man. No, no, Aliens is fantastic. Uh, you're going to watch Alien, and you're going to be like, God, this is a fucking fantastic, way better movie. We're going to make you watch Alien. Um, most of our generation did watch Alien way too long. Does the, does the, does the audience have any questions for Natalia before I... I Bend and fucking manipulate her brain around certain things. Oh God! Ugh. Come on, hit him with me. Hit him with me. Uh, so before we, while we're waiting on everybody to ask questions in the audience, um, okay, who do you think would be better in bed? Uh, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, or Jason Voorhees? Michael Myers, ten out of ten. Michael Myers, 10 out of 10. Explain yourself. He's a quiet, stoic type. And just mm -hmm. from my experience, dudes mm -hmm. that are quiet, ten, so much better in bed. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, I'm not seeing any questions come in from the audience, which is shameful. It's shameful. Why are you watching this? Ask questions, okay? Are you not entertained? 
Are you not entertained? That's what I ask myself what every fucking night. Me? This is every fucking time I get on this stream. And they bullied me. I don't know if you watched my art, my Resident Evil 8 stream last night, but they bullied me. They bullied me the entire time. I swear. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry, Wes. If you were stranded on a desert island with only one movie to watch for the rest of your goddamn life, what is it? Outsiders. Outsiders. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Why? Explain yourself. Um, it has been my all-time favorite book movie combo Damn. since middle school. Okay. I watch it twice a year, every year. Okay. Okay. Frank, you'll shut the... Sorry about that. Franco gets a little bit excessive when we get a bit low on time. All right. All right. All right. So right now, I've got music playing. Imagine. Okay. We're on the set of Deal or No Deal. No, no, scratch that. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? No, scratch that. The Biggest Loser. No, scratch that. The Bachelor. No, scratch that. We're in Fear Factor. Joe Rogan's not there, though. Oh, Joe okay. Rogan's oh, dead. Okay. Joe Rogan's dead. I'm ready. Okay. So what I have is a rapid fire round. I'm going to take all the guests of this season. I'm going to ask them the same equal amount of questions. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay? And you have... I'm going to time you how long it takes you to answer. Okay? 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 okay. Are, these right, are these like right or wrong answers? Are you asking me... No, like no, 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 questions? no, no, no. Personal questions. We're getting, per we're getting deep with it. Okay? All right? The previous was Naughty Nick Francia, and he had a record-setting time of a minute and 15 seconds, point zero nine one fifteen zero nine. okay? But I believe in you. I believe in you, okay? So rapid-fire round. On the count of go, I'm going to say one, two, three, go. I'm going to ask these questions, okay? And you're going to have to answer them quickly, okay? Okay. All right? So three, two, one, go. What social stigma does society need to get over? Racism. Favorite breakfast food? Eggs Benedict. What was the last photo you took? Of my dog. Would you rather fly or turn invisible? Fly. What's the most expensive thing you've broken? A camera. What's your favorite dance move? The Cupid Shuffle? I don't know. The right, Cupid Shuffle you don't know. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> What's your favorite music album right now? Death Rocks' latest album. Okay, got it. All right. O.J. Simpson murder case was a criminal trial held in Los Angeles County Superior Co Court in which former NFL player, broadcaster, and actor O.J. Simpson was tried for the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Ron Goldman, who were stabbed to death outside of her condominium in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles on the night of June 12, 1994. Do you think O.J. Simpson did it, yes or no? Yes. All right! Oh my god, that's a new lap record! One minute, one, one second, and 33 microseconds! Oh my god! Oh my god, there it is! Oh, oh, there's applause! You can hear it! They're, they're fucking, they're fucking hitting themselves! There's, there's body fluid going everywhere! There's men outside of the studio chanting, feet, 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 feet! feet, but we're not going to show it to him. We're not going to show it to him. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Natalia Hawthorne, for your time. You have a stream coming up soon, so I hope you don't mind if I cut this a little bit short. Uh, it's not too short, though. We got a fucking fantastic interview. Before we go, can you look at this camera? Can you look at that camera? Can you look at the camera that is watching you right now in your lamp that the FBI put there? And can you tell us, plug your shit. Let us know exactly where we can find you. Dude, cult comedy cinema everywhere. Cult comedy, twitch.tv slash cult comedy cinema. Cult comedy cinema on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. Just type it in. I'll pop up. It's a little skull, a little popcorn bag. It's a cutie patootie. Perfect. Amazing. And what do you have coming up for us tonight? Uh, tonight we are watching A Whisper and a Scream. It's oh, a Vinny P anthology film. And I'm stoked. It's going to be bloody. There's going to be boobs. Tune in. Hang out. If you want to see Titas, Bobas, Feet, Vincent Price, women being stabbed, men being stabbed, uh, Vincent Price, you want to look at his mustache with a little bit of sweat drops coming off of it. Yeah. Then you know what you need to do. You need to go to Colt County Cinema at what time? 
We're doing it at uh, 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. 11 p.m. Central Standard Time, a little bit of late night movie after all these antics. My name is Wes Franks, I've been your host, I'm taller than your dad and I'm fully vaccinated, fellas. And this is Natalia Hawthorne of Colt County Cinema. She's a streamer, she's a fantastic person, she's a Vincent Price Van girl, and she is a sock enthusiast. I'm gonna say I'm signing off here from Birmingham, Alabama. She's signing off from Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, Go have a good time. Go watch some stuff. And remember, comfort comes soon. Thank you all. Have a good night. Wave, wave. Thank you. Good night.